Hi Pisces, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the month of February. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Pisces, this does have to, have to be an actual connection you have with somebody. You have to know each other. You don't necessarily have to be together. You, you can be single, but yet still sort of have a connection with somebody. So you definitely have to know each other. Um, if you are single though, I do offer a singles reading. And feel free to check that out. You can check the description box below for your playlist to your general and your love. And you can find your singles reading in the love readings. So please feel free to check that out. So let's see what's going on with Pisces and love at this time. I say at this time as I do consider all my readings timeless, even though they're dated. So welcome in, Pisces. Welcome. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas, having a wonderful new year. So let's see what's going on for Pisces at this time in love spirit, please. And you can check out the description box below for the decks I'm using, uh, how to reach out for personal reading, social media, if you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift. All that information is below, so feel free to check that out. So let's see what's going on for Pisces in love. This is a zodiac oracle, so we may get a sign, element, or planet. And if you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. Sort of like a little extra bonus in this reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So what do we have for Pisces at this time? Who may they be dealing with for some of them? Thank you, Spirit. What do we have for Pisces? Okay, feeling that one. And we have Capricorn. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. And they could have it in their chart. If they're not a sun Capricorn, they could have moon rising or Venus as Capricorn also. But like I said, if you're not dealing with a Capricorn, that's totally fine. So let's see what we have here for Pisces. So Pisces, please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If it's not your reading, please don't try to make it fit. Hold out for future readings or like I said, check your playlist. Um, if you see something uh, that resonates for you, I'd say watch it anyway disregard the dates so let's see what's going on for Capricorn the first thing uh, Capricorn I'm sorry Pisces so first thing I'm going to do here is pull an overall connective love energy energy between the two of you whoever you're thinking of at this time for Pisces what is the energy for Pisces and who they are thinking of thank you we have transform which is 35 which is eight eight is about movement action travel so something transforming here. Somebody has transformed. This relationship could be very transforming, all this connection. Hmm, okay, or somebody needs to transform. The relationship, the connection needs to transform. So we'll see. So Pisces, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put you on this side, your person on this side, get a card for each, how you're feeling about each other and the connection. But if you feel like, Oh no, that's me, that's them. Please switch, flip-flop the energies all throughout this reading as you see fit. That's how tarot works. Now only take what resonates. I can also pick, pick up on past, present, or future. All right, so let's get one. Okay, I'm feeling this one over here and this one over here. So Pisces, I'll say this is you. So we have choice, 39, uh, yes, which is... <laughs> 12, which is three, is about teamwork, collaboration, working together. So someone may need a choice about whether or not they want to work on this, whether they want to work on transforming a connection here. And this side here has triggers, which is nine. Can be an independent energy. It also can be wishes, dreams coming true. Nine is almost at an ending, which an ending would be 10. And then one would be a new beginning. So I feel like this person over here feels like you trigger them. There's something maybe in you or here that triggers them. And you're trying to make a choice whether or not to transform or transform this connection or whether you want to work on this connection. This person over here feels like nine, they don't, don't know if they just want to end this or if they want to be single or if they want to transform this to either. A lot of triggers here on this side. And you see like all these bubbles energy. It's like being trapped in a bubble. Maybe you both feel that way. And over here too, like being trapped under glass. Hmm, I don't know, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. And we have meditation, which is three, which is again is about teamwork collaboration. So working on it. 
So really needing having to go within, spending quiet time alone, thinking, contemplating, what do I truly want? Do I truly want to work on this? Can we transform this? And that Capricorn can be um, the devil in the tarot, which is a very toxic energy. So this can could be, if it's not a Capricorn you're dealing with, could be just kind of like a toxic energy here. That's why there's triggers. And that's why, you know, over here, like, gee, I don't know if I just want to work on this anymore. You know, can this even be transformed kind of energy? Really thinking about this. So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what's going on here for you Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? Whoever they're thinking of at this time. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. So just a quick shout out to everyone. Thank you for supporting the channel. All my new subscribers. Those who have reached out for personal reading. Those who have tipped or do donated or sent a gift. All your support is really, really appreciated. Couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's get some energy here for this side. So yeah, Seven of Swords and the Page of Wands. So... Seven of Swords is kind of like that energy is sneaking away from something. And then the Page of Wands is about passionate communication and good news. So let's get some energy on this side here. So we have the Tower. Oh, boy. And then we have the Ace of Coins. Wow. So it's like two conflicting energies here. It's like this side here is like, do I want to make the choice to walk away from this? To sneak away from this or do I want to you know commute communicate you know good news that okay I'm ready to work on this let's transform it and the side over here it's like okay triggers could be the tower moments there you know triggers that set this person off you know it could be disagreements it could be you know not seeing eye to eye uh, differences in beliefs and personality things of that nature it's like little, I feel like little tower moments here that trigger this person. But this is a brand new beginning here with the Ace of Coins. So it's like, yes, I'm triggered, but maybe I do want this new beginning with this Ace of Coins. A stable, grounded new beginning for the long term. Building on a firm foundation. Oh boy. Very conflicting energy. It's like you both... Okay, I'm triggered, tower moments, but yet I want this practical new beginning. Okay, I just want to sneak away from this, but maybe I do want to work on it, sending out that communication, sending out that good news. It's like both like conflicting energies here, both of you, like very conflicted. Oh, okay, so let's see what the actual situation is for you Pisces. Oh, it's way too many. That was a huge clump. Pisces. So we have the Magician. And we have the Six of Coins. So it's manifesting a new beginning of um, balance, of equal give and take, reciprocity. So I think maybe you've decided here, okay, I made the choice. I was going to walk away, but I thought about it. I meditated. Maybe we can transform this. So let's manifest a brand new beginning based on Stability, practicality, balance, equal give and take. Okay. So let's see on this side. Oof. Well, we have the lovers, so two people coming into soulmate union here. Six of cups, so definitely soulmate energy here. Could be uh, somebody you've known from the past. Could be somebody you've been with for a very long time. Maybe it's been like a brief separation. Um... Could have had past lives with this person. Two soulmate cards here. So definite soulmate energy here. And the three swords. So there's that heartbreak, heartbreak, sorrow, heartache energy. I think this person, even though there may be triggers, they get triggered easily. Little tower moments between the two of you. They still want this new beginning as do you, even though you're conflicted, like both conflicted, but both realizing, okay, we can manifest this new beginning based on balance, equal give and take, soulmates coming into soulmate union with the lovers as well as the six of cups. This person over here feeling, you know, could be crying, you know, without you, you know, and wanting now to come back into soulmate union. Even though these little triggers maybe hurt them, maybe make them cry, 
very hurt feelings. They still want this soulmate union. Wow, okay. If you can transform and get past these like little tower moments, these little triggers. Uh, heavy soulmate energy here. All right, so let's get advice for this connection for you, Pisces. So we have the Knight of Coins. So that's taking a smart, practical, slow approach, rebuilding very slowly or building very slowly, moving forward, taking your time. Nine of Coins. So that can be an independent single energy. Um, the Nine of Coins. But being very stable and grounded, secure, independent, can take care of yourself. But hey, it's the Ace of Wands. It's a fiery, passionate, brand new beginning. Exciting, creative kind of beginning. All right. Let's get one more. Five of Swords. So that's like getting ahead at all costs. Getting what you want no matter what. Oh, I feel, I feel like maybe, maybe you or them, somebody had to learn how to be more independent on their own. Maybe somebody was too codependent on the other person and that's what triggered the other person and gave them these little tower moments of someone being too clingy, too needy, too codependent, too, I don't know, attention seeking kind of personality. And maybe finally someone learned how to gain their own stability, stand on their own two feet and knowing I can take care of myself. I don't need the other person now. And maybe now this other person sees that and then now they're no longer triggered. And that's the transformation and the connection here. And now it's like, now this person is like, okay, now I want this no matter what, this fiery, passionate new beginning. Like they see you in a whole new light. They see you worked on yourself with the Knight of Coins. You or them, however it resonates for you. Male, female, whoever's watching this. Someone put in the dedicated effort and work on themselves. Transform themselves. And now the other person sees that. And now they're like, okay, I want this now, but you, no matter what, no matter what, I see now you've changed. You've transformed into this beautiful, independent person. And now I'm no longer triggered by all this other energy. Someone made the choice here is now sending that good news to the other. And now the soulmates are coming back into union. Wow. Okay. So let's see the possible outcome. Let's see the possible outcome here. The emperor. Yes. Yeah, someone taking the lead, taking control, taking charge of their life being in control of themselves of their life now they don't need anybody now they can take care of themselves they can take care of themselves emperor empress doesn't matter queen of swords having truth and clarity um open open honest truthful communication cutting away energy is no longer serving standing up not backing down telling it like it is divine energy i always feel the swords is like divine energy especially the king queen and ace so I feel like the divine here is stepping in and giving somebody their power back and making them realize they can be their own emperor and empress. Page of Cups. So there's loving communication. Um, could be a child for some of you. Maybe you have children with this person. Um, apologies. Loving, caring, nurturing, giving kind of communication. Terms of endearment. Compassion, loving kind of energy, truth and clarity. Wow. So bottom of the deck, yeah, Eight of Cups, walking away from how I once was or they were and walking into like their, like, like baptism, baptismal water here, like rebirth of um, their new self, like leaving behind how they once were and now walking to their new self. Page of Coins, communicating, you know, stability. Independence, security, very stable offer, communication coming in. Now to the Ten of Cups, happiness and joy, fulfillment in every single way. Closing of cycles, starting new cycles, new chapter. 
moving forward, a lot of victory, success, drive, ambition, balance, positive movement forward. Positive movement forward with the chariot, which is cancer, the world closing out cycles that were no longer working, having a new start, a new chapter. That's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And it's also the fixed signs, which is Leo, Scorpio. Uh, well, I don't know. It could be all the signs, I guess. Ten of Cups, happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Honest, uh, stable communication here. Practical news coming in. Um, a very sturdy offer, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and walking away from ways that once were into a new way of being, of living. So the other signs that I see are Leo, Sag, Aries, Aries, um, Gemini, the magician here, which is Gemini, Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Libra Gemini, Aquarius, Aries are the other signs that I see. Okay. Wow. Somebody transformed themselves and now soulmates are coming back into union. Somebody is no longer triggered by the other person, which is a good energy. Okay. So let's get some closing messages here for you, Pisces. So I do ask Pisces if you knew. Uh, please check out my channel if you like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I do a love connection. I do a tarot forecast, which is a general reading. Sometimes it's love, sometimes not. I do a singles reading, and I also do a spiritual reading, either angelic messages, messages from your spirit guides, or something like that. And I also just started a weekly element energy reading, Love, Life, and Advice. But I'm thinking about eliminating the generals, the spiritual readings, and the weekly energy readings as they're not getting a lot of views. So I'd rather give you guys what you would rather see and like. So I'm thinking about just doing a bi-monthly uh, love connection and singles. So you can leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, but if you do like my channel and have my style, how I read, please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell. And if you do, thank you. So let's get some... Closing messages here for you, Pisces, on this connection. For Pisces. So we have Our Lady of the Abundant Garden. So 83, which is 11, which is half of the twin flame number, being on the right path, divine path, spiritual path, being divinely guided. So very abundant uh, growth, expansion, abundance in this connection. Our Lady of Quiet Blossoming, three, which is, you know, working together, teamwork, collaboration. So I feel like somebody went off and retreated on their own, as you have the meditation, reminds me of the Four of Swords, and they blossomed in like this whole new person, and they totally changed, and now they no longer trigger the other person, and now soulmates are coming back into union. Somebody really did the work on themselves, transformed themselves, and quietly blossomed, to this whole new person, I feel. Not just for the other person, but also for themselves. Also, I want to make that clear, that they just didn't do it for the other person. They did it, know they needed to do it also, and made that choice to do it for themselves. So it could be you or your person, however it resonates for you. So here we have Our Lady of the Star Blossom. 20, which is 2, is about union, unity. So somebody here, we got two cards of Blossom. Just confirming to me, star, somebody have done their healing work. Um, they were divinely guided to do so. You know, having that faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true now of soulmates coming back into union. Wow. And let's see what's on the bottom here. So we have Our Lady of Comfort, 43, which is seven. Again, which is being on the right path. It's very spiritual, divine number. So... This person, whoever transformed in this connection, may have been divinely guided and led to do so. Um, having that divine uh, comfort, encouragement, enlightenment, healing with the star energy to blossom into a whole new energy. And now the soulmates are coming back together. Wow. It's nice energy, Pisces. So best of luck to you, Pisces. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.